all right then welcome back everyone and this is i suppose the final video of this playlist so i hope you have enjoyed the journey with me till now and uh, yeah let's uh, end this uh, playlist on a very high note the question is reverse a substring and what we are given is we are given a string s of length n which consists of only lowercase latin letters uh, that is letters from a to z and they will define a substring substring i guess you already know it is the contiguous sub segment of the string and what we want to do is uh, we want to choose exactly one okay exactly one of the substrings of the given string and reverse it and after that the string that you will obtain should be less lexicographically that is you have a string here s given to you you pick out a sub segment from it reverse it and the new string that you should op that you obtained should be lexicographically smaller lexicographically less and the string that you obtain should necess not necessarily be the smallest possible string okay because that will be a much difficult problem to solve uh, and what is lexicographically shorter means is uh, the way lexicographical ordering works or the dictionary ordering works is you just compare the first differing character between two strings for example if these are the two strings given to you what is the first differing character the first differing character is c and d so the first differing character in this s1 is less than s2 then this s is lexicographically smaller or lexicographically less on the same grounds uh, like this s2 since the first differing character d is greater than this it is lexicographically greater or lexicographically uh, more than this s1 so that's what it means in other words s2 will come later in the dictionary and s1 will come before right so more concretely uh, we are given the string s of length n and what we want to determine is if you can find a substring uh, that you can reverse and obtain a string lexicographically less if you can do it print yes and followed by the indices that is uh, the substring which define the substring like right? lnr is going to define the substring that you are going to reverse it to obtain a string lexicographically less if it is not possible uh, then print no right that's what it is written so how do you approach uh, this question then now this will be a question based on string right what we want to do is uh, we are given a string we want to uh, so if this is a string we want to choose a sub segment reverse it and obtain a string which is lexicographically smaller in other words the first differing character should be smaller so if this is s i want to obtain s dash and in s dash the first differing character between s and s dash should be less right so <laughs> okay what i'm trying to say here is the first differing character in s if it is let's say uh, c1 and the first differing character in s is c2 and this c1 should be less than c2 right that's what you want to do so how are you going to do it then um, let's just consider some simple strings first and then maybe we can build up the idea so what are the simplest possible sort of strings a simplest possible string can be uh, all the string characters are same if you have all the string characters to be a uh, like you cannot do anything here right no matter what sub string you choose uh, you will never get a lexicographically less string for obvious reasons like no matter how what what uh, sub string you reverse as dash is going to stay same so we are not going to get a lexicographically less string okay so that doesn't work then uh, what else comes to your mind uh, maybe if i take s in which the characters are in ascending order okay that seems to be like a good example right so it is something like this a b c d e f right so all the characters are just increasing or maybe uh, non decreasing as well a a b b c c fine um, can you do it uh, can you reverse any string here notice one thing here uh, since all the characters are in ascending order the characters are either uh, if you can have a here fine either the character remains same or they increase right if this is the case uh, again you cannot do anything because like you decide to reverse any substring of it so if you try to decide it of course it is going to stay same but if you try to uh, reverse any substring what it's going to do is uh, it's going to bring the characters with the higher value first right in other words making the first differing character to be actually greater right since the string is in ascending order you pick any substring and try to reverse it what will happen is in s dash the first differing character that will have will actually be greater right so you cannot achieve this like you cannot uh, just reverse some part of it s and make sure that s dash is lexicographically less for obvious reasons the characters are increasing guys so if you reverse any portion the higher weighted character will come first so the differing character the first differing character that you will have will actually be greater so in ascending order doesn't work okay if ascending order doesn't work then um, what if the string is in descending order so like these are two observation right if all are same no if ascending order then also no 
what happens uh, when you have a descending order let's see the descending or descending order means something like this uh, let's just start from end then z uh, so x y z right in this case um, what can you do can you do something very simple here see the characters are in descending order right so what do you do you want the first differing character uh, in s dash to be smaller right since all the characters are in descending order you reverse any substring uh, definitely uh, the first differing character will be smaller than that in s for simple reason the characters are decreasing right so z is greater than y y is greater than x x is uh, greater than w so you saw if pick any reversal a smaller character will come forward right for example for the z and y if you just reverse this substring you will have y z x w automatically the first differing character here this y is less than z the job is done so just swapping uh, two characters also worked here fine and what sort of characters uh, did you swap by the way right so the string was in descending order we just swapped first two characters and what was special about these two characters the z was greater than y does that uh, give you some hint uh, does that give you some hint it says you that if you can find any two consecutive characters in s that is si minus 1 and si such that this si is greater than uh, like si minus 1 is greater than si we just swap these two that is consider this substring where si minus 1 is greater than si so if i show you some examples it will make sense let's say you have b here you have a here you have y here you have x here if we just consider the substring uh, made up of these two characters you just perform a swap here or like reverse right in the end reverse this substring you got your answer right which is simply yes and your indices will be simply i minus 1 and i okay i guess i went a little bit fast here what i'm trying to say here is uh, in the string s that you are given you can have same characters here fine no problem you just need to find the first pair you just need to find the first pair let's say this is d and uh, this is c just find the first pair such that si minus 1 is greater than si and you just swap it that is pick this guy as a substring then the string that you will obtain here the string that you will obtain here is it will be cd here and a a a a a a a will definitely be lexicographically smaller why see this portion was same you didn't touch it the first pair that you found like first pair of consecutive elements such that si minus 1 is greater than si you just reverse it or in other words you just selected the substring and reversed it right so what happened is automatically this c comes here so the first differing character first differing character you have in s dash will be smaller than s right so the question is uh, done and dusted here what you want to do is you want to so if this is s start uh, start from the beginning find the first consecutive pair find the first consecutive pair such that si is greater than uh, si minus 1 is greater than si and just swap it like the swap those two characters in other words reverse that substring reverse the substring in range i minus 1 and i and the new string that you are going to obtain will definitely be lexicographically smaller than the original string why for the simple reason the first differing element the first differing element in s dash will be smaller than it now uh, then then in s right so yeah i mean that's the question let's just quickly implement it then okay guys so let's just uh, implement the solution now now there can be a mild disturbance uh, behind the scenes uh, because like I live in Gujarat and uh, Navratri has started. <laughs> so, and you know how uh, crazy Gujaratis are for Navratri. So, let me know if it's a bit too distracting. I might have to change my recording time then, right? So, anyway, I have taken the input here, and what you have to do is uh, we want to find the first pair uh, SI minus one SI such that SI minus one is greater than SI. Frankly, uh, you can find any pair uh, like this and just uh, swap these two guys, right? For this BA, you can make AB and this dash that you will have uh, will be lexicographically less. I'm finding the first pair because it's just an implementation ease, but you can find any other pair, well, like any pair inside the string uh, because they are not, they are not asked us for the minimum possible string, right? So what I have to do is I have to go from uh, first character to last character because I'm, I'll calculate SI minus and SI, right? I plus plus. And just check uh, if si is less than si minus 1. If this is the case, uh, yes, it is always possible, right? Uh, then we can obtain a lexicographically less string. And what is uh, the bound? The bound is simply i followed by i plus 1, right? 
fine so that's that and uh, if you don't uh, do anything here so i have to return here right if you can find a pair like this uh, print yes and then the substring that you're gonna reverse that is simply the characters at i minus one and i right the reason i'm printing here i and i plus one here is because there is a one based indexing okay that's the only reason i'm doing that and uh, if you are here uh, that that is you have not found a pair like this two consecutive elements such that si minus one is greater than si then you'll have to print no right so yeah uh, that's that let me just quickly run it then this seems to be working. Uh, you can see here it printed 2, 3. Of course, right? So SI minus 1 is greater than SI. So you can just reverse this substring. Your job is done. So yeah, I mean, uh, that's about this video and uh, this playlist. Uh, I hope uh, you really got something out of this playlist. Um, I'll probably start 1100 rated questions now. But uh, before that, let's just submit it and see if it actually works. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I really hope uh, you got something out of this playlist. If you did, uh, uh, please leave a like and uh, give me a shout out on LinkedIn. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'll see you in the next playlist then.